Today, I'm going to show you how to design this wedding paper bag with Corel Draw 2021. So, with that said, let's jump straight into the video. So, here are the resources I'll be using for this tutorial. So, check out the link in the description and download the resources and follow along the tutorial. So, once you open up Corel Draw, pretty much this is the welcome screen. And next thing you want to do is to click on New Document. And when you click on New Document, it brings up this dialog box where we are going to make some settings here. And pretty much I'll be setting my name for this particular project i can just put it there wedding paper bag and that's cool set the primary color mode to cmyk because this is going to be a printed material then the dimensions you can set your page size set it to a3 because we are going to make it an a3 paper bag don't worry i'm going to explain further set your unit to inches and pretty much that's the width and height for a3 and your orientation should be landscape that's cool resolution should remain 300 dpi then you hit on ok so once you do that it brings up this canvas we are going to design on click on your rectangle tool and create this shape just like that and pretty much it's a custom shape so we are going to set it to the exact same size of this a3 canvas click outside your corel draw on the empty page and then copy the width copy that ctrl c to copy click on the rectangle and press ctrl v and paste that so it takes the width of the a3 click again and copy the height and paste it on the page just like that so we now have the same width and the same height for this page press p on your keyboard to place this shape on the page and pretty much that's cool next thing we are going to do is to look for an a4 size we are going to work with because this bag is going to finally become an a4 bag so one thing you need to understand is that every paper bag has different sizes we have the small size the medium and the big size so for the small size it's the a5 paper bag while the medium size is the a4 paper bag and the big size is the a3 paper bag and we are designing the medium size which means we are going to design on a3 two a3 to form one a4 paper bag basically you need one a3 to form one a5 paper bag and you need two a3 to form one a4 paper bag and you need two a2 to form one big size a3 paper bag so let's take the measurements change your page size to a4 and set it to landscape click on your rectangle tool again and create a custom shape just like that and click on your a4 page click on the empty page so you get the dimensions for this a4 copy the width and click on this custom shape and paste it around here that's cool and then click outside again copy the height copy and click on the shape again and paste it just like that so now we have this a4 shape just like that you can click and change your page size to a3 once again and make it landscape just like that so we have this a3 shape here and we have the a4 shape here all you have to do is to hold shift on your keyboard click on your page click on the a3 shape and press l on your keyboard and once you do that it places this a4 on the left hand side of the page and that's cool so this is going to be the final size of this bag and sometimes i like to increase the height a little so we won't have this side being too large so we can just drag this to this other side a little just like that it looks cool it looks cool at the end of this tutorial i'm going to leave a code you are going to use to download the template of this paper bag so you can just download the template and get the proper dimensions of this paper bag so make sure you watch till the very end so let me make a little illustration here when designing a paper bag take note of this measurement you're going to measure the height here and you're going to measure the width here and the height from here from this point to this point and then we are going to take the height here and also the width here okay so you need to take note of all this stuff because it's very very important let me take that again you're going to measure this height and you're going to measure this side 
and we're going to measure this side. It's very, very important. So let's say for this side, we are going to have one inch and this other side is going to be custom sizes because we have taken this already and we are going to take this as well. So to get the shapes for this other side, click on the A3 shape, hold on this side and click and drag, hold and drag. And then when you get to this edge where it shows edge, right click on your mouse before you leave and then you get that shape and this shape has the height of 0 0.6 inches okay it's 0 0.6 inches which is pretty much okay and then click on the a3 shape again and hold on this other side and take it down here and right click before you leave so what we are doing is clicking and dragging then duplicating the shape okay so hold on this other side and bring it down and hold on this other side, take it up to this point where it cuts with this other shape. Click on the A3 shape again. Click on this side and bring it down. So pretty much we have four shapes here, which is this, 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 and this. Okay, it's a very simple trick. If you don't understand this part, make sure you watch again and again. And you can adjust your playback speed and make it slow so you can understand what i did just here so this is going to serve as the front part of the bag and this is the side this is the bottom and this is going to be the top that folds inside the bag so once you get that done we're going to take off all this outline on these shapes highlight all the shapes here and right click on this empty space and click on set outline color then you can see all the outlines are all so with this we can set any temporal color we'll be using for the main time click on the first one and add any color to it pretty much any light color we can work with for the main time just like that we can leave these two other shapes to remain the way they are so moving on to the folder where we have all our resources here we're going to click on these love shapes and open up this pdf with corel draw so we'll be able to extract what we have in there right click on this click on open with and click on corel draw 2021 then you can click on curves it brings up this pop-up menu click on curves and click on ok so this comes up just like that so we can simply highlight this and press ctrl g to group copy that and take it to our main document where we have this wedding paper bag and paste so this is cool we're going to bring it right here and then we're going to duplicate this so click and drag hold shift to remain on a straight line just like that and bring it to this other side and right click to duplicate so you can press ctrl d to duplicate again and again so you can have it as long as you want but we just want to have something that can match with this particular shape yeah, so i can delete the last one and then i will have just this highlight all this stuff and press ctrl g okay so i'm going to power clip these shapes inside this particular shape right click on that and click on power clip inside then click on this shape here then it comes inside this shape so you click on this shape and give it a white color just like that so we have it like that this looks cool and nice so we are going to set these love shapes to be at the center of the design and to get that hold alt and click on the group so whenever you hold alt you are going to click to select objects inside a power clip so i'm going to take this up a little and place that around here that looks very cool and very nice so we are going to create a circle around here click on your ellipse tool and create this circle just like that hold control to have a perfect circle just like that and then we're going to give this circle a temporal color just like that hold shift select this shape press c and e so when you do that it sets your circle to the center of this shape so hold shift and reduce evenly the four sides of this circle just like that this looks perfect and reason why we are doing this is because i want to take off some love shapes around here so we can have uh, a particular design here so i'm going to press ctrl x and then i'm going to open up this power clip so we can edit these love shapes right click and click on edit power clip and it opens up this power clip just like that you can click on these love shapes and click on on group 
all. Then I'm going to paste the circle shape we initially copied, okay? So after pasting it, click on this empty space to take off the fill and you right click on black and set outline color to have something that looks like this. So what we are going to do here is to delete these circles inside here. So you can delete this one, delete every circle that is inside this particular one. We're going to delete that off. Okay. Delete this and delete this one. Okay. That's cool. And click on this, delete this, delete this one, delete all these ones around here. So that's cool. We can reduce this one and make it to match there that's very cool and nice so we have just this circle here let's leave it because we are going to use that circle again press ctrl x to cut that click on finish so we now we are out of the power clip so you can now paste your circle again because we are going to use this circle again so next thing we are going to do is to open up the folder again and let's go back to here and open up this other one click on the pdf file again right click and open with Corel Draw. Click on Curves. It's okay. So let's copy this and take it to the other documents. Copy that. Take it to Wedding Paperback document and paste. So when you paste that, take this to this other side where we have all this stuff happening here, where we have the initial circle there. So once that is done, you can press Control X to cut. And then click on this circle and take it off because we don't want to have too many circles there and press ctrl v to paste the one we just brought in right now so this design looks cool and nice you may not understand what i'm doing here but just follow up this tutorial till you get exactly what i'm doing so moving back to our folder again we are just dragging and dropping stuff to form something okay so going back to the folder i'm going to open this up and then i'm going to open this pdf file again with corel draw and once it opens up just like that i'm going to copy this love shape here so delete these shadows okay let's copy all this stuff so you can deselect this other little love shapes because i don't want to pick that right now press ctrl x to cut and then take it to the wedding paper bag and paste Press Ctrl G to group that and take it to this other side and place it around here just like that. It looks very cool and very nice. So I'm going to take this other ellipse and place it around here. Reduce that and place it there. It looks cool and nice. You can give that any fill color and let's just have something that looks like that. And make sure it's at the top of the page. So you press Ctrl page up to bring it to the top of the page so we can power clip what we want to power clip inside so with that we are going to open this folder once again and click on this picture this particular image bring the couple into corel draw drag and drop and once it opens up right click and drag to the ellipse shape here and leave then you're going to have these options you click on power clip inside so it goes inside the power clip just like that hold alt and click on the picture so you'll be able to select it and reduce it just like that reduce and place it around here just like that it looks very cool and nice so this design is as simple as what you are seeing it's very simple just follow my steps and you're going to get this it's simple minimalistic and kind of luxury feel kind of paperback so click on this shape. let's take off this black hairline here so right click on this empty space and click on set outline color just like that press ctrl page down to send it to the back just like that so you can see it goes back to this page and you can see how it looks like okay so this is what it looks like having this love around it just like that so we are going to pick this red color and fill it here so we have difference here so click on your eyedrop tool just like that color eyedrop tool and pick this color here and fill it on this other side so this is what we get so once that is done we're going to click on this bottom part and let's use a very light black here like 10 percent black it's okay and click on this other one and give it 10 percent black as well so this is exactly what we get and then we're going to type the names of this couple and every other details here so click on the text tool and type this 
Okay, so this is the couple names, and I'm going to change this font to Great Vibes. Okay, Great Vibes. So this is the font. Increase that, and something around 61 points. Place it around here. That's cool. And then we are going to centralize this. Hold Shift, click on this shape, and press C to centralize. You can centralize it with the couple image as well, just like that. So click on this and give it, uh, let's say, 70% black, just like that. Click on your text tool again and let's type the date for the wedding. So this is the date. I'm going to use poppins for this particular one. Poppins. Okay, so this is cool. Click on your shape tool and increase the tracking, just like that. And place it around here. Very cool. Reduce the size a little something around let's say 16 points is cool hold shift click on this shape and press c so that's it and we're going to type something around here click on your text tool once again click on that i and and o okay so this is what we get and we're going to increase that and change the font to cinzel okay so this is cool, since I and O. Place it around here. So with this, we can change this O to have the same color we have already here and highlight this one and give it this color as well. So this is what we get. Just place it around there. And that's very cool and nice. So for the side of this bag, we're going to open this folder here. Open that, click on the PDF file, right click and open with Corel draw. Then I'm going to open that up. Then I'm going to select this particular one here. We have so many uh monograms here, so many illustrations here. So we're going to copy this particular one and copy that, take it to our uh, page and paste. Okay, so when you paste that, place it around here. You can delete this R because we don't need that anymore. Delete that, copy and uh, highlight that and group. Give it a white color and place it just right here. That's cool. Reduce that. And make sure you click on that. Hold shift, select the shape, press C and E. So it remains at the center of this particular shape. So we're going to bring in this I and O. Right click to duplicate. That's very simple. Let me do that again. Click on this. Click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate. Give it a white color and reduce this. Place it at the center here. That's cool. Then we're going to uh, bring in this date again. Click on the date. Click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate. Give it a white color. Then click on this shape tool and reduce that. That's cool. Then I'm going to place this around here. Reduce. Place it there. That's, that's very, very nice. Very nice. You can make that bold so it stands out. So once that is done, uh, I think the front part of this bag is done. If you are enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments if you have ever designed a wedding paper bag or you are planning to design one. Let me know down in the comments. So we are done with the front page and we are going to design the back page, you know. So like I said before, you need two A3 to have one A4 paper back. Okay, so we are just done with the front page. Don't worry, I'm going to give it a mock-up so you see how it looks like when it's finally done. So next thing you are going to do is to click on this plus icon to add another page. So we have page one and page two. So for page two, I'm going to copy everything we have in page one, copy that and place it in page two, press control V. And one thing you need to understand is that you don't, want, you don't have to bother about how the finishing of this bag will be done as a designer once you are done designing your bag with the proper measurements and the proper dimensions you're going to take it to the printer that is going to do the finishing the printing and the finishing of this bag and the rest of the work will be done by them all you have to do is to put it on a mock-up and show your client so they see how the final look of the bag will look like and you can show it to the printer as well so they understand what the bag is going to look like. But pretty much, I believe every, print, every printer will know how to finish the bag. So once you paste this on the second page, we're going to uh, delete everything that is happening here. Okay, delete that. 
boom we don't need that so open this power clip select that and delete as well so we don't need that so when you have this line like this you don't have to bother let's bring in the picture we need to use for that particular page so i'm going to click on this and drag it to corel draw and paste right click and drag to this particular page and leave then click on power clip inside hold alt click on the image and increase the size of this picture just like that and you have something that looks like this so this is very cool and very nice next up i'm going to copy this particular logo that we have here so we created a logo for this couple click and drag to this side and right click before you leave so we're going to give it this red color that we have been using here you're going to reduce the size a little and place it around there that's very cool and then i'm going to open the face page copy the names of this couple with the dates copy that okay let's just take the names of the couple alone copy that and take it to the second page and paste that's cool increase the size of the name it's okay the name being on top of their image just like that you can give it a white color it doesn't really matter there so what we're going to do is to create a shape so they can have contrast here because the name is not really visible so create this custom shape just like that across the shape we have here and then we're going to reduce the transparency so click on your transparency tool and click on uniform transparency so you have something that looks like this i'm going to click on where i have my transparency and increase it again to 70 so your transparency can be 70 press ctrl page down to send it to the back okay so this is what we get you can increase the height a little take it up hold shift select this shape and press c so your shape can be centralized so when you have something like this it looks very cool and nice and pretty much we are done with the back so for you to design this bag like this you need to have a picture that has a very nice background but if the background of your own couple is not really nice like this you can simply crop the image and add your own background so for me i'm going to leave it just the way it is so to save your corel draw you're going to close all these documents we open in the process of the design just close that it's no more necessary and you can save your work so pretty much we are done with this design the next step we are going to export this design and put it on a mock-up with photoshop so you have to have adobe photoshop cc installed on your pc for us to be able to do this i have the mock-up files in the folder as well so check out the links and download the resources you will get all the resources for this design and i promise to give you a code that you're going to use to open up this template the link for the template so you can get the exact measurements i use will be on a separate link in the description and the code is 1357 so when you download this template you are going to be asked to input this code to be able to open that particular folder it's going to be a zip file so you extract it and then you're going to have this template that's it so i'm going to click on the face page highlight all and press ctrl e to export and set the folder you want to export it to i'm going to click on documents pretty much and save it there click on export and make sure you are exporting with either rgb or cmyk let's leave it at rgb since we are putting it in a mock-up rgb it's cool and then make sure you have the highest quality selected and hit on ok and we are going to do the same to page two highlight that ctrl e and then export and we're going to name these two so we have a separate one export and every other settings rgb every other settings can remain the same hit on ok so once you're done with that let's go to the folder where we have our exported files that this is it just right here so i'm going to go back to our folder where we have our resources so you're going to see these three mockups inside this folder click on the first one right click and open with adobe photoshop and it opens up just like this so once this open up just like this we're going to go to where we have our layers permit me to drag and drop my layers here so when you have your layers here you're going to see where you have your side project and inside color so we're going to click on project or double click on the thumbnail and then click on ok it opens up this 
particular page where we are going to place our design. So I'm going to click on the folder where I have my design. Let me open that folder separately. Open in a new windows and click on wedding paper back. Click and drag the front page to Photoshop and paste that here. So once this opens up just like that, we're going to take this up. Okay. Increase the size just like that. And then we're going to drag this. Okay. It's okay. If you drag it just like that, I know it distorts the image, but pretty much just set it like that. It's going to look cool when we save it. So you click on OK once you place that and press Ctrl S to save. And pretty much you know how to do this mockup. So you can just download the mockup and place it. But for those that don't know how to use the mockup, that's why I'm making this. So when you close this, it opens up just right here. So you can see how it looks like. It looks very cool and very nice. So on the side, we're going to do the same thing to the side. So I'm going to drag and drop this inside Photoshop. And then I'm going to place this on this other side just like that i'm going to place this around here just like that hit on ok and press ctrl s to save and close so you get something that looks like this and the inside color we need to change that to white because the inside color is going to be white so change it to white and okay close that yes close that so this is what we get we can make the rope to be red so it matches very well so to change the rope color you're going to click on strings the thumbnail double click on that and change it to red let's have something that looks like red okay hit on okay and save that okay close so this is what we get so we have the rope red and this is how it looks like so pretty much this is how you're going to send this design to your clients you can save this as jpeg and send to your clients and if you open the other mockups you're going to see open with um adobe photoshop you're going to see other sites so this one shows only the front side you can just double click on project and bring it up okay and paste it here increase that just like what we did before Okay, that's cool. Bring this down. Okay, hold shift and take it up a little. That's cool. So press Ctrl S to save that and close it. So it opens up just like this. Uh, I think we need to open that up so we can take off the red part. It's showing on the mockup. So save that once you are done and close it. So this is how it looks like. You can change the strings, color, the rope change it to red as well double click on that and change it to red hit on ok save close that and this is what we get so this is very cool and nice so you can save this as jpeg as well you can save it and send it to your client and the last one is going to be the back side of this particular mockup click on the last one right click open with photoshop so the last one opens up just like this and we are going to use the back side of this mockup here so we're going to open project and then click on where we have the mockup file bring that and paste there so this time around we are putting this back side so you like to show your clients the different sides of this bag just like that click on that and save okay close this so this is what we get you can change the side okay double click on the side let's bring in the side of this bag just like that paste it there open that up that's cool place it around here okay so this is okay save close it so this is what we get change the inside color to red double click on that change it to red hit on okay Control s to save and close that oh sorry the inside color is not supposed to be red so we're going to change it to white okay because this is going to be a paper and paper is always white so the inside color should be white close that this is what we get change the strings to red okay just like that is done okay save so pretty much this is how to put the paper bag on a mock-up and this is what we get so you can save all these mock-ups as jpeg and you can use it as a display
or send it to your clients. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you share this video with a friend. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever we upload a new video just like this one. And if you've subscribed already, thank you so much. Don't forget to click on this video and watch more tutorials on this channel. See you in the next one.